In this video, we're going to discuss how 2024 is going to change search engine results forever. We're going to be looking specifically at Google's new generative AI experience and how is this going to affect local service businesses. We're going to go through that in this video and how you can set up your business for the future. My name is Phil Risher. I'm the owner of Flash Consulting, and we partner with local service businesses on this channel. We talk about growing local service businesses, and if that's what you like, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Let's get right into this video. All right, so when you go to Google and you type in HVAC Companies Dallas, Texas, you can do this for your business, and you can do your local search for this. You're going to get four main areas. You're going to get an ads area, and sometimes you'll get what are called Google local service ads. You're going to get these Google search ads here. You're going to get your local map pack here. And then you're going to get your organic section here for your website. Now, this has been this way for probably a couple of years now. Um, once Google local service ads started, that, that add a little wrinkle in here, but it's pretty much been the same. So now if you see here, this get an AI powered overview for this search, this is called SGE. What is SGE? I asked Google's AI, which is called BARD. What is SGE? Stands for search generative experience. It refers to Google's recent initiative to use AI to enhance the search experience. This technology is still in its experimental stages, but has the potential to revolutionize how we find information online. So what is it? It is Google's AI, and you can click generate. And what it's going to do is it's going to scrape everything, It's going to, and then it's going to give you all the answers. So here you can see. HVAC contractors is going to give you some recommendations of ones. It's going to pull in a little bit about them here. It's also going to show you some other places that you can find or other articles. Um, it's basically pulling everything in that you would see as you scroll through here into one like mini dashboard. Now, let's say that you keep going and you have other follow-up questions. It's going to recommend some follow-up questions. So how much does it cost to replace your HVAC in Dallas? It's going to tell you the exact things and it's going to tell you the cost factors. It's also going to recommend maybe some companies here. All right, so you see how this is going to change a lot of things because you haven't even seen any ads in here yet. All you've seen is just organic results based off of queries that you've put in here and then SGE, search generative experience. So what can you do to make sure that your business is actually ranking inside of SGE when it comes out? I'm going to go through some ideas here, but I'm going to show you what Google actually says. And I, I always default to asking Google because this is literally Google's AI bard. So if you have a question about Google, you might as well start with asking Google what it thinks. All right, so let me move this down here. So I asked it here how to rank in SGE. While Google hasn't revealed the exact specifics of ranking in SGE, here are some general strategies based on current observation and expert insights. All right, first, strong organic ranking. Aim to rank well in regular Google search results. This significantly increases your chances of appearing in SGE. So what can you do for this? We've talked about your offsite SEO, which is optimizing your Google business profile. We've also talked about on this channel how to optimize your website with title tags, meta descriptions, and H1s that all match your platform, your website, and your location have your service in there and your geographical target. So strong organic ranking. You got to do the basic things from an SEO perspective. Hopefully that's going to be shown. Create high quality content. Ensure your content is comprehensive, informative, and engaging. Prioritize clear structure, scannability, and relevant headings. This basically means create content that people actually want to read. There's a great book on this called They Ask You Answer. But don't just create fluff content. Create things that are actually useful. Use a friendly experience. Optimize your website for mobile speed and ease of navigation. Aim for seamless user experience. Obviously, you don't want a janky website that takes a long time to load. So they want to make sure that whatever they're recommending is going to have a clean feel to it so that when someone goes there, they're going to say, wow, thanks, Google. You recommended a great company. Technical SEO. Maintain a technically sound website with optimized meta description, title tags, and schema markup. This goes again, as I mentioned above. So you can see that this SGE experience is going to change a lot of search engine results page. It, in this example, it's even above ads, which is pretty crazy. It's above your Google local pack. And so what we are recommending and what we're doing for our clients is we're still doing everything from the offsite SEO perspective, an onsite SEO perspective, as well as monitoring our keywords for all this stuff because it's changing rapidly. Obviously, we all know AI is, but this SGE specifically on the search engine results page, this is foundationally going to change the way that people do digital marketing, in my opinion, because a lot of companies, they focus on those four sections, Google ads. Google offsite, Google onsite, and that's really what people focus on from a digital marketing perspective for new customers. 
So I'm curious to get your thoughts. Have you played around with Bard or SGE? What do you think are some ways that you can rank in here that I didn't mention? Or how do you think it's going to affect your business? Drop a comment below. Um, if you like content like this, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.